Hi everybody, it's the big day, trombone day one, okay? I'm excited, trombone is my main instrument, so this will be the best playing you'll see from me, hopefully, um, for quite a while um, on the trombone videos. So I'm going to go through the same kind of practice routine that I have been for the other instruments that I feel like I'm more of a beginner at, and then maybe as time goes on I'll put in some more advanced videos um, on how I prepare my trombone stuff. Um, I'm not the greatest trombone player in the world either, so don't don't uh, look at me as the the best option. There are other people to listen to other than me, but I'm looking forward to playing my main instrument a little bit now. Um, before we go on, let's talk about making a sound in the trombone. Same way that we do it with any other brass instrument. You're buzzing your lips and you're blowing through the mouthpiece. Okay, it's not. If you just blow through it, it's not going to make a sound. You need to buzz your lips. <laughs> well, not so good of a buzz that time. <laughs> anyway, it's not happening for me this morning. My lips are a little dry, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> Lord, Trump, trombone's a little dirty. It smells bad. Um, <clears throat> let's try that again. Let's get a good buzz. Okay, it's all about getting a good buzz. You should be able to move that buzz up and down. Okay, have a good buzz. Once you have a good buzz, you put it on the horn, and we're going to start playing. I'm going to go through the first five notes before we do anything else. Let's talk about the first five notes that we learned. It's going to be a little hard for me to show you, uh, but I'm going to do it from the side so you can see where they're going to be. Your first note is a concert F. Our notes are concert notes, so they're the same. So here's our F. In first position, all the way in. Here we go, F. Okay. E flat is our second note. It's right at the bell. You don't want to use your finger, but that's a good way to know where it is. Okay. It's right at the bell or a little bit inside, depending on how you're tuned. The trombone is special to where you can tune on the fly with the slide. You don't have to move your mouth much um, for some of those greater tuning things. You should, but you don't have to. You can really find that every trombone slide's a little different on where those notes are um, perfectly in tune or not. So we're going to start right here, right at the bell, E flat. Good, let's go to D. It's in fourth position. A little bit past the bell. You want just a little bit of silver attached to your gold. You don't want to be right here. It's a little bit further. C is the next one in sixth position. For some of you with shorter arms, this might be as far as you can go. But it's about it's about that far. You don't want to be all the way out in that seventh position. You want to be right in uh, a comfortable distance away. And then B flat is all the way back in first position, lower than the F. Okay, all five of those in order. Okay, and I fudged the note there. It's because I'm not warmed up yet. Okay, my lips are a little. A little stiff right now, so we're going to try to clean that up as time goes on. Let's do this Tone Builder, okay? Tone Builder, page number 12, number 52 in the Essential Elements 2000 book. Same warm-ups we do every day in class. Let's hear the Tone Builder. Right now, I'm, just, I'm trying to get a good, solid tone out of the trombone, trying to clean up. And this trombone is not the best-sounding horn. This is the horn that I started on when I was in sixth grade. So it's pretty old, it's pretty busted, it's not the greatest quality, but it's what I've got here. My good trombone, I don't think it would be appropriate to use it because um, I want you to hear what it's going to sound like for you to play on your instrument. You're not going to play on a professional horn, you're going to play on a school horn or on a beginner horn. So that's what I'm going to play on, that's why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> Maybe later on if I get into some more advanced videos I'll use my uh, professional horn, but probably for now I'm just going to use this one. Here we go. Performance warm-ups, tone builder. I want a good solid tone, lots of air, good strong attack with a ta. 
And uh, let's just hear this. Here we go. trying to keep my tone really steady I had a little hitch in the slide there there's I think there's a bend in this slide to where uh, C sticks a little bit and that's my excuse for that C being a little out of tune it was a little sharp um, let's do that one more time really try to listen for the clean the cleanliness of the notes here we go Something you'll notice is that because my slide is sticking in sixth position, I have to put a little more effort in to get it out there, and that hurts my tone because it should be as smooth as glass. You're, you shouldn't have to force it ever. If you force it, your tone's going to be bad. So we want to uh, make sure the, the, slide, the slide is lubed up real well. I'll probably do some work to it after this to make sure that it's clean and uh, it's working well. But we did pretty well. We're going to move on to the rhythm A2. This time we're focusing on the rhythm and the tonguing. Um, ta 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 ta. Okay, we don't want to slur it. We don't want to fudge it. Blah, 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 blah. Just to get through the notes, we're working on the rhythm and the tonguing. That's the important part here. Uh, so we're gonna try that. Try it now. Rhythm A two. <laughs> Yeah, so usually my sound is a little bit uh, more steady, but I've got to put a lot of effort in moving the slide sometimes, so that's why it's a little bit shaky. Um, let me try that again. Let me see if I can't can't fix that. I'm also a little bit rusty. I usually play on a bigger mouthpiece. This one's a little smaller, so I'm trying to clean up my tone on the smaller mouthpiece. <laughs> That was better. That was better. I'm not too upset with that. We're going to skip the rhythm rap because it's not necessary um, to do in my practice right now. Rhythm attitude is enough rhythm workout for me for this beginning bit. Um, we'll get some more interesting rhythm workouts later on. Let's go to the corral. Typically with the corral, we're listening for a good balance and blended sound across the ensemble. We don't have an ensemble today. We have just the trombone. So we're looking for tone production, we're looking for steadiness of the sound, and we're looking for clean slide movement. Fast slide movement. You can't be working your way down super slow. Okay, that's a glissando. We want to zip to our slide positions. We're going there immediately. There's no space in between. Um, we're looking for the dynamic changes from piano to mezzo forte back to piano. And just to make it sound as, as easy and clean and pretty as possible. So we're going for on the crowd here. Let's give it a shot. bad there's a little buzz in there somewhere in the uh, F's uh, I think that was my fault I'm gonna try it over time just try to get that buzz out I wasn't too happy with it Yeah, fair enough. Uh, not too bad for the corral. So that's our warm-up. Easy 10-minute warm-up. Uh, just go through your stuff. If you want to read through the stuff a couple more times to uh, to make your lips a little bit more flexible, that's a good idea. But that's all I'm going to use for my warm-up. I'm moving on. We're going to go 
to the same thing I've been doing all week. 34, I believe, is the number. Doodle all day in the yellow book. It's on page 9. Um, and honestly, with the repertoire today, I can blow through it myself. I'm going to try to make some mistakes on purpose so that you guys can see what you might mess up on. Um, no other mistakes made in these videos are on purpose. But today, for the beginner trombone video, I don't want to just breeze through it and make it look easy. Um, I want to show you that what you might mess up on. So let's let's give this a shot. Doodle all day. See if you can spot what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> What was the problem? The problem was that I didn't read the key signature. Instead of playing an E flat in third position, I played an E natural in second. Okay? For all my E's. And it made the song sound incorrect. We need to clean that up. We need to make sure that our notes are accurate. E flat is in third. E natural is in second. There's a very slight difference there, but it's a pretty big difference in sound. <laughs> Big deal. So let's try it again. The correct note uh, and uh, try to make it as pretty and smooth as we can. Yeah, so this busted old trombone is really giving me some trouble here. Uh, but it's good. It's good for me to practice on a less adequate instrument so that I can uh, fix issues that don't come up when I'm playing my good horn. I'm going to take my jacket off because it's a little hot in here. trombone going on do it all day perfectly fine go to tisk it a task it and then if I'm pleased with this maybe I'll jump to something later in the book so you can see me make some real mistakes tisk it a task it here we go pick up note on beat four don't miss it um, everything else should be pretty simple here we go I feel bad that I'm not giving you as much advice here, but we're just blowing through it. So maybe I'll uh, I'll take some time to discuss it a little bit. We missed, there was a note in here that we hadn't gone over yet. Up in measure three, there is a G. G is in fourth position. Okay, it's the fourth note in that third measure. It's in fourth position. Okay, right here. If you're having trouble reaching that G, you got to blow a little bit more air. You'll get up to it. If you're only hitting the D... All I'm doing is changing the amount of air I'm pushing through. Push fast, fast, fast air. If you push too much air, you'll jump even higher to a, uh, what is that, B natural. Happens. Uh, don't do that. Stay at the G. We're going to move on. Just get a task it. Let's go something, something back. On, that's more fun. How about 90? Variations on a familiar theme. Okay. If you're having trouble with notes and rhythms, you need to go back and do the warm-ups. You need to work at the beginning of the book up to this point. Don't jump here just because I am. Uh, I'm trying to demonstrate my practice uh, progress. And if I practice the same thing over and over again that I don't need to work on, uh, it's not getting me anywhere. So right now I'm going to work on some sight reading. Okay, since I've gotten through my warm up, I've gotten through my repertoire. I seem pretty happy with it. Um, we're going on to sight reading because I haven't gotten to work on that yet. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm just going to flip to a page and play something. 
And if I make a mistake, we'll point it out and we'll talk about it. When I sight read, I usually want to take about a minute to look it over to make sure nothing's going to catch me off guard. So if I'm looking at 90, number 90, variations on a familiar theme, um, I see that I've got some eighth notes in here that are not too hard. They're on the same note for the most part until I get to variation number two, which is basically just a uh, B-flat pentascale run. So the first five notes of the B-flat scale, B-flat, C, D, E-flat, and F. It's just a run. ba da doo doo da Okay. We can do that easily. We know that note. One, six, four, three, one. Right? It's real simple. If you want to work on something like that, go to your warm-ups and play them faster. The faster you play those warm-ups, those are all based on the B-flat pentascale. So play those warm-ups faster and faster. Make sure they're clean. But play them faster and faster and you'll get there. I'm going to start on number 90 and we'll just uh, give you a little teaser of what's to come. And I'll probably move on. Missed a note. I missed a note. I gotta do it all over again now. No, uh, I'm gonna work on that last variation too, cause that's what threw me off. I didn't do my uh, due diligence. I didn't look it over well enough. I missed one note, um, and I shouldn't have. So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna look at just variation two. So this is the last four measures. I'm gonna play it slower, so that I can make sure that I play everything right. Once I know I can play it all slow, I can speed it up slowly to get it to where it's fast. So let's start just on variation two. Slower. Cool. Speed up. Got it. Let's do the whole thing faster. Yeah, pretty pleased with it. Um, one thing that I will say is that we want to make sure our tonguing is clear when we're doing these runs. Instead of, yeah, really uh, point that tongue and tip it out. Okay, that's the way to do that. But I've started red variations. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right, let's move on. Get some, ooh, trombone rag, number 97. Let's sight read it. We got some glissandos in here in the endings. If you don't know what a glissando it is, is, is when you go from one note to the next without tonguing. Okay? That's what we're looking for in these two endings. Um, yeah, let's read it. Nothing too hard. It's fast. Allegro. It's forte. We've got some slurs in there. Remember, if you're on a trombone, you can't actually slur. You don't have that ability um, unless you're going between uh, lip partials. But we can fake it by instead of saying ta, we say la. Okay, so here's the difference. In measure two, there's slurs. This is what they sound like if I try to tongue them. Here's what I do if I try to slur them. Okay, they're a little more connected, but you can still hear that little break in there. Okay, maybe I should do that a little better. Here's the tongue. Here's the slur. Okay, they're still there. It's just a slight break. I'm saying la instead of ta. La la or ta la la. Right? <clears throat> Let's give this a shot. Trombone rag, I'm going to sight read it. We have a repeat sign. Don't miss it. Okay. 
Some cool I did there that you might have noticed you might not have. I played F and C in the same position. It's called an alternate fingering or an alternate position for a trombone. F and C can both be played in sixth position. Usually our F is in first, right here. They can also play it in sixth. Same note, just play it in sixth, and you can pop it up, and that means I don't have to go back and forth as much in this tune. Um, when you do a glissando, like the book says, make sure you use a steady stream of air. If you push too hard, it sounds weird. You want to uh, make it nice and clean. Right. Well, that was fun. Trombone rag. Let's keep moving. How about... I don't want to do Grand Deliberella. I don't want to do the band arrangements. Is there anything else in here? Solo performance. I don't want to do Ein Klein Nacht music. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else in here I really want to look at. Uh, I feel pretty confident with what I've done so far. If you've got any questions about how to play a trombone that I haven't gone over yet, this isn't to teach you to play the trombone if you've never touched it before. This is a review to get you back into playing so that when I start working on stuff that we're doing in class, you are prepared. Uh, I'm not going over like beat durations and how to read the staff and all that stuff. Uh, that stuff we can do in class or through different means. This is just a practice log, basically. So if you have any other questions, ask me. Send me an email, get in touch with me so I can help you. But um, that's not what this is for. I'm not going to come on here and do uh, lessons like that. This is just going to be me playing and telling you what we're playing and how to do it and going over stuff like that. So if you have any big, broader questions than that, please contact me. Uh, the trombone videos, unless I get questions from them, are probably going to be a little shorter um, because... Personally, I need to practice more on the instruments that I'm less accomplished at. And if I'm playing the trombone, if I'm practicing it, I need to be practicing stuff that is at my level. Practicing stuff that is for the beginners is great, and I will do it so that you guys can learn along with me. But um, these videos probably are not going to always be 30 minutes, the trombone videos. I'm going to get through them. It'll be easier for me to teach it, easier for me to play it. I won't make as many mistakes, so we're, they're going to be a little faster. And that might be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but that's how I feel like I need to do it. Um, people with specific trombone issues, I can solve them a lot easier than I can solve your flute issues. So that's why they're going to be shorter. Um, but that's it. I've got, that's my first trombone video. I will be moving on to other low brass here in a minute. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it helps you. And I hope that uh, you keep playing throughout this coronavirus stuff. Uh, I'll see you again next week, same time, same place, uh, later on.